What's up everyone? My name is Christian with Idaho Dual Sport. Today I'm going to be going over five of today's top rated goggles. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, everyone. So today I'm going over five different goggles that are huge in the market right now. Um, I've been running the 100% Armegas for the last three years and I've actually loved them. I think they're great. Um, really, it's just came down to looks. I think they're one of the coolest looking goggles. I did a lot of research, um, not to mention they are military friendly, so they do give a decently generous uh, military discount. But after I got on my last wreck, um, I did damage the pair pretty well um, and they actually held up great. They protected my face. Uh, and it had nothing to do with the integrity of the goggle itself, but I wanted to start looking into other options um, Just because when I replaced the helmet, I thought hey, maybe I'll check out some goggles as well So today in the lineup we have the X lucid goggle, which is one that I've tried out before which I thought was actually fantastic um, Just at the time they didn't have any color options I wanted and so I kind of passed on them fairly quickly Next, we have the Liat 6.5, which is a goggle that I've looked at before in the 5.5. Um, and it didn't have as many of the features as I was looking for and just in comparison didn't excite me too well, but they've updated that goggle since then. Um, and so I had to take a look at this one as well as they're a super cool looking goggle. After that, we have the Havoc Infinity, which has absolutely blown up and become a super popular option in the off-road and trail riding uh, category. I've, I've seen a bunch of my buddies use them. Um, it's one of the number one goggles that's recommended to me when I ask about uh, what kind of goggle I should be looking for, uh, as well as they have great uh, customer service. I've talked to a few other guys on their Instagram page um, and they just, they, they really have a great outreach program. They do well with marketing, so I can see why they're a top option. So I had to grab a pair of those as well. Last but not least, we have the Climb Edge Off-Road Goggle. Now they've been making goggles for the snowmobiling and sledding side of things for a while now, and I believe it's still called the Edge Goggle, but I believe it was this last year uh, they fully transitioned and made a moto version. Now what separates the two, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if it's in the lens. I believe the goggle construction is all similar, but um, again, this is one of the top ranking goggles that I see out here in Idaho, and so I had to give those a shot as well. So I'm gonna go through each goggle and rank certain categories from a scale from one to five. We're gonna be ranking features, visibility, quality and durability, fit and finish, and cost. And out of those five categories, they all rank a little bit differently. For features, I'm looking for things that set it apart. What about the goggle itself makes it so user intuitive or is a selling point for the goggle? Uh, visibility is gonna come down to peripheral vision and the field of view. When you put them on, does it feel like you're looking through toilet paper tubes or does it feel like you're in a 4K IMAX movie? The quality and durability, I'm looking for the materials in, in the face foam, in the plastics, and the molding, um, and the venting. Do they feel like quality, durable components they are going to withstand off-road abuse? Now, fit and finish is kind of similar in that category, but I'm looking for the fine details. Do they have quality lens coating? Is the strap feel durable? Is there grip on the strap? All those little fine details that kind of show the research and development going into the goggle is where this gets ranked. And last but not least, the cost. The lower the rating, the higher the price, but sometimes the higher the rating doesn't necessarily mean that it's a cheap goggle, but it's affordable for all the things that are included in that package. So to start us off, I wanna start with the X Lucid. As I mentioned, I had checked out this goggle when I was initially shopping for goggles 
three or four years ago in comparison to the 100% Armega, um, as well as a few other top prospects. Now the MSRP for the Lucid is $99. However, I did find the pair in this video on Amazon for 50 bucks, and I'm telling you, if you can get them right now for that price, go and do it. So first off, features. On this goggle, I ranked it a three out of five. Visibility, I ranked it a four out of five. Durability and quality, I ranked it a four out of five. Fit and finish, four out of five. And last but not least, the cost, also a four out of five. These are very similar to the Armega. There's so many features on this, including the lens lock system that almost mimic the 100% Armega, but they seem to refine a few of those details. It has a rugged frame with face foam um, on the inner frame that I believe is triple or maybe quadruple density. It's super comfortable, super soft and plush. It actually feels like you're wearing the Armega um, in, in terms of the, the feel around your eyes. Uh, the ventilation in the moisture channel also mimics the 100% Armega in a lot of ways. Um, I can't say that I really got to test this feature, but looking at the design and where the channels are and how the airflow is, I can't say that it would be any worse or any better than the 100%. It's a 20 millimeter 3D molded face foam. Again, I can't remember if it's triple layer or quadruple layer. I know they have a pair that is quadruple layer, but it is at a minimum a triple layer face foam. It has extreme definition optics, which they call XDO. And I can affirm that these are a high definition lens. They're great. They're on par with, I would say, uh, 100% standard lens. I wouldn't put it on par with the hyper lens, but they are, they are fantastic. Again, the wave latch uh, quick change lens system, very similar to our mega system. Um, the way that it pops open, these essentially just shift up and you pop the lens out where with the Armega you snap them open and push up. has a detachable vented nose shield, has amazing field of view and peripheral vision. This is the one leg I think that it has up on some of the other goggles. I was very impressed putting these on this time to see how much peripheral vision and field of view I had with these compared to some of the other goggles on this list. The quality of the lenses is top notch. There's zero glare. I didn't find any of those curved spots in the lens where you could kind of see a ripple or have that distortion effect. I thought they were phenomenal all the way through. These lenses are tear off compatible and they have a ton of lens options as well. I believe they have a couple amber uh, colored lenses, a blue lens, clear lens, um, your mirrored lenses, of course, your smoke lens. So. Uh, just like all the other high-end competitors, they offer everything you can need as far as lenses go. Now in conclusion, I ranked this goggle as one of my top picks out of this list, but right off the bat, this goggle blew me away and I was actually very impressed to see it. Next up, we got the Liat 6.5 Iris. Now, if everyone has watched my channel long enough or follows my Instagram, they know I'm a huge Liat fan. They have great customer service. Uh, their protective gear is top notch. It's saved me many, many times. Um, and I'm just a huge, huge fan. I've used uh, plenty of their gear and I continue to do so. Um, but I was a little bit underwhelmed by this goggle. And let me, let me go through this and tell you why. First and foremost features, I ranked it a three out of five. I think it has great features, but I'm mainly ranking it a three out of five because it's a bulletproof ANSI rated lens and none of the other lenses or goggle companies are able to credit that. Visibility, a two out of five. I'll touch on that in a second. Uh, quality and durability, five out of five. They're very stout, just like everything else they make. Rigid, high quality construction, well thought out design. Fit and finish, again, five out of five. Quality materials, Liat doesn't skimp on that stuff. The cost, two out of five. These MSRP at $109.99. And I'm sorry, but when you compare it to something like the X Lucid, like I just previously mentioned, um, for an extra 10, 20 bucks, depending if you can find some on Amazon, um, I just don't see them being competitive only because I think feature wise, I just don't see it batching up. So the number one thing is these are bulletproof rated. They have, uh, they talk about that on their channel. Um, if you watch any of the reviews, they've actually tested these. They're military tested and have the, an ANSI rating as well. They're a dual density foam. I think they're decently, uh, you know, the foam was comfortable. I felt like they were, they did great there. They claim it over the glasses fit. Uh, these were very narrow on my face and I don't have a very big head or a very wide face. 
Um, but I can't imagine a guy with goggles. I felt like these started to cut off on the outside of my eyes, which is super uncomfortable. And it's one of the first things I noticed putting goggles on. So I don't know how these would be compatible for somebody with glasses. And I have seen reviews where people also claim um, that they are not compatible. These are roll off ready with a wide vision system that they offer. Um, I don't race, I don't do motocross and I don't use tear offs or roll offs. So that's not a feature I'm uh, accounting for very much, but it is compatible with this goggle. The field of view and the peripherals were not terrible, but they weren't great either. Um, again, when you have a goggle that cuts off on the side of your eyes right here where your eye socket is, um, that's already showing you that it's gonna be a narrow goggle. It's not gonna give you a great field of view. So that's why I gave it a visibility rating of a two out of five. Now I have to say the lens glare on these was atrocious. I don't know what it is about the coating. If they're bulletproof, well then you're blind too. I don't know where the, the dynamic happens or where the shift is that causes so much light to get inside of the goggle, but it's almost like you're looking into a mirror inside. And I've seen plenty of people claim this. I'm just not sure what, what the design is that, that causes that or why, but it almost feels like it's a double mirrored lens. So you're looking at the outside of the lens from the inside and I, I hated that instantly. Now the lens swap system on this was less than ideal for me, although it's very robust, it's just not as intuitive as the other goggles. Um, as you can see here, when you pop the latch open, uh, it's just more of, you have to kind of put some muscle into it, which I guess could be a good thing. And this is why it's so well rated with the durability and finish. However, it's less than ideal when you're on the trail and you have to swap the lens real quick. One of the other knocks I have on this, as I mentioned before, is the price. I just don't think that it matches up with other goggles in that price range. And therefore, um, it ranks a little bit lower than the rest. Again, I don't want to end this on a bad note. I love Liat. These are super high quality goggles and maybe it's just a Cinderella slipper type thing. They didn't fit me great. I didn't love the lens on it and I didn't love the the difficulty of swapping the lens. So I'm gonna give this goggle maybe a, a total of three out of five, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I love Liat and I'll be a continued supporter for a very long time. Now, next up we have the one that I'm the most experienced with and that's the 100% Armega. I've got four pairs of these in my locker right now. I've been wearing them for the last three years. I've had a bunch of different combinations. I've gone through lenses at a decent rate and they've just overall been a great quality goggle for me to use. These cost anywhere from 90 to $120 and that depends on if you go with the clear lens that they offer or you can go with their hyper mirror lens which is about $120 mark. For features, I give this goggle a three out of five. I think the lens changing system is great but other than that, it doesn't have a lot of things that make it uh, stand out from the rest of the goggles other than it just being a high quality product. Visibility, I also give it a three out of five. I think it's good, but it's not great. Quality and durability, I give it a five out of five just because it's a proven design and it's very popular in this product realm right now. Fit and finish, I also give it a five out of five for the same reasons. The lenses are great, the straps are great, uh, the plastics are great, might have held up to a lot of abuse. Cost, I give it a three out of five. I think it's competitive at the price range. However, when you can find a goggle um, that competes with it that for maybe $10, $20 less, that it's gonna pull people away from the market of looking at the Armega. The first thing that you'll notice about 100% is they have endless combinations of colors um, and designs. You can get a ton of different lenses. You can get a ton of different frames for them. And that's part of what makes it cool. And it's part of what drew me to them initially. They have super high quality components. They've been known for this for a long time. I've ha have hardly heard of anybody that has blown through these too, super fast. I don't see any issues and I haven't heard of many issues as far as their quality and componentry goes. They're super comfortable. Their face foam's amazing. Um, they're one of the leaders in that category as far as comfort, the lens system as well. They're very popular. The hyperlens is amazing. That was one thing that they came out with, I believe two years ago, um, that's a high definition optic. And it's definitely a feature that ranks it up high amongst the rest of its competitors.
The moisture management and airflow is great as well. They have some channels in it, um, similar to the X goggle, where your sweat will kind of drain down into the bottom of the goggle and come out of the bottom. It eliminates the possibility of moisture building up in the goggle. It can drain out of the bottom and suck down air um, as you're riding, which I've actually been able to prove over the last three years many times, and it works well. I've never had my lenses fog up. These, again, I think are a triple layer face foam like most of the other goggles. Super quality, super comfortable, and I love that part of them. These are tear-off compatible. Again, it doesn't apply to me, but it is there if you need it. These also have a removable nose guard. I've never taken them off. I like to protect my nose, especially with all the dust out here in Idaho. But again, that's a feature that you might look into. Next up, we have the Havoc Infinity. Now these were a super popular, highly suggested goggle when I've been shopping, and I figured out why relatively quickly once I got my hands on these. These MSRP at $80, which I think is a great deal for a high quality goggle. Feature wise, I gave these a five out of five, and I think you already know why. Visibility, I gave them a three out of five. Quality and durability, a three out of five. Fit and finish, a three out of five. And a cost, a five out of five. These fare fairly well against some of the highest competitors in the market. So let's break down why I think it's a good option. The magnetic lens swap is an absolute game changer. That was the first thing when you pull it out of the box, you're like, well, I gotta see this, it's legit. The magnets are super strong. You're not, you don't have to worry about them falling off. And the ability to be able to carry a clear lens in the bag, an amber lens in the bag, or a smoke mirror lens in the bag, and be able to pull it out and swap it in a matter of seconds and get back to riding is awesome. Also, I have a buddy that when we pull over, instead of having to take his goggles off to cool off, he'll just pull that lens off and let his face breathe and then pop the lens back on and we're out to riding. The lens clarity is great. I was actually very impressed with the quality of the lens. It's one thing that cheaper goggles usually lack. It's where they cut the cost. Um, and I was very impressed with this. The face foam could improve. It's not super comfortable, but it's not horrible either. But after trying on a pair like the Armegas um, and the X Lucid goggles, it's just not up to par with as far as the comfort and the face foam that's there. The venting seems decent actually, and there's a, a rib across the top that has got a, a few perforated holes that, that show like the ventilation was great. When I rode with these on, um, you could really feel the airflow pull through the top of the goggle, but I'm not sure how moisture management would be long-term. These are tear-off compatible as well as you can see the tear-off posts on the lens. There is no nose guard on these. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna deter anybody from buying them. However, it would be a cool option in the future for them to add that feature. The one cool feature about this goggle as well is there's customization options on their website. You can go through and pick whatever strap you want, pick whatever lens you want, um, and then they put it together and send it to you for I think maybe five bucks more than just buying a regular pair that they offer on the site. I think that's a super cool option as I think that most of picking goggles is how they, how they look. And then last but not least, their customer service. As I've mentioned, talking to their guys on the Instagram page through the website, they've been very quick to reach back out, answer questions, and help me in any way that I needed. So I always give that a big thumbs up to companies that are willing to do that. So I think these are a great option if you're in the market. Last but not least, the Climb Edge Off-Road Goggle. Now these MSRP at $139.99, making them the most expensive goggle in this lineup. But I think you're gonna understand why once I break it down. Now this goggle has been on the market for a while as a snowmobiling goggle. I'm not exactly sure what they changed and I looked on the website and I couldn't tell either. It seems like they kind of are a dual purpose goggle, but I'm not sure what markets one to be a snowmobile goggle and one to be an off-road goggle. Um, I think they're both a dual pane lens. I could be wrong. Uh, however, I think the moisture management and everything else is the same. It could just be something in the lens tent. Feature wise, I gave this goggle a five out of five. Visibility, five out of five. Quality and durability, five out of five. Fit and finish, five out of five. The cost, two out of five. But I think the rest of those negate that two out of five and also make it reasonable because for what you get with this goggle, that price is very, very practical. First and foremost, the field of view and peripheral vision on this goggle was unmatched. It wasn't even close. The rest of these goggles got absolutely blown away as soon as I put these on. It's like watching a TV on an old 1999 flat screen and then going into an IMAX 4K movie that has the panoramic view. I was blown away how much I haven't been able to see with my Omegas this entire time. And I really didn't know what I didn't have until I tried those on. 
There's zero distortion in this lens and it's an injection molded lens. And I know most of the other ones are, but for some reason this one has the perfect amount of curvature in it to where there's no distortion at all. And I would have never noticed that there was distortion in the others until I tried this goggle on. The quality and components, again, top shelf. That's why I gave it a five out of five. Climb doesn't go cheap on any of their things. Um, I don't use a ton of their stuff, but the stuff I have used is, is high quality. As far as their garments go, it's hit or miss, um, but their helmets are great. Um, and these these goggles are just another testimony of, of the stuff they put out. These are super comfortable. The face foam is unreal. Um, I don't know how, but it somehow feels softer and more comfortable than the Armegas and the X-Lucid. It is real nice to put on a goggle that you can kind of forget you're even wearing. Now the quick change lens system on this is only second to Havoc, but it's still very, very close. The one thing I do like about the Edge is that it has a slide lock feature that you'll see in this video is you're able to shift this locking knob up which pushes the lens away from the magnets which allows you to pull it off and it locks off the hinge on the other side takes seconds to change seconds to wipe off um i think this is one of the biggest features that you can get in a goggle although this is almost double the cost of what you get from havoc it's also the quality is just 10 times better the nose protector is also magnetic and a quick change feature which again if you don't want that thing and you can pop it off and throw it in your pocket instead of sitting there and fiddle with it and popping in all these little rivets that you've got to do like on most of these other goggles i think that's a sweet feature as well the lens quality is superb i'm not sure if they're a dual pane but again the coating on it is flawless you can't see any distortion at all um, it's the perfect amount of tint the reflection is great it's just all around amazing these feel the most streamlined and lightweight, and I don't know how that makes any sense because I generally can't tell I'm wearing goggles, but with these, I genuinely feel like they're somehow lighter than the rest of them. And I'm not sure if it's because I'm seeing less bulk on the corner of my eyes and off the top of my face, but these feel like they're a part of the helmet. These are also ANSI rated, which is another great feature knowing that you have that protective and durability in the, in the lens itself. Again, the triple layer face foam, great feature. You can definitely tell when you throw them on. These are over the glasses compatible. Um, they have a cutout on the ridge of the, the frame. And this is again, I think what makes them so comfortable and feel so uh, lightweight and streamlined is they have a cutout here. So there's no plastic that pushes into the side of your face. It actually leaves room for there to be glasses that can go through uh, into your helmet without having any obstruction. All right, so let's break it down in order from one to five. In the number one position, I have the Climb Edge goggle. Although it's the most expensive goggle, feature-wise it blows the rest away. The field of view and the peripheral vision alone makes it worth the cost. Second off, you might be surprised, but I'm giving it to the X-Lucid. For the cost, they just really compete with the 100% Armega and produce a really, really high quality goggle that I think is amazing. And it's definitely high on my list as an option for my next goggle, especially at the price point you can find them at on Amazon right now for 50 bucks. If you can, I highly suggest you go get on there right now and look and at least check them out. Free returns if you're an Amazon Prime member and they're a stellar goggle. <laughs> Third, I'm gonna give it to the 100% Armega just because I'm so familiar with it and I've used it. And maybe that gives me some prejudice since I've used them and I've found some things that I don't necessarily love, but I really overall think they're an amazing goggle. I just think that they might be slightly overpriced and they've lost a little bit of the competitive edge with some of these goggles that are ramping up to compete with them. I think they have amazing durability and fit and finish. Um, their features are great. I love their lenses. I love everything about them. I think they look great. I think they're one of the best looking goggles in general. Um, but just when you look at the comparisons through the other goggles on this list, I think that they get edged out just slightly either by cost and feature ratio or just by overall quality in general. Fourth, I'm going to put the Havoc Infinity just because they're doing such a sick job with that lens. I really don't think there's a goggle that compares at that price. And I think when you're producing something like that, that's your niche market and you just got to stick with it. So props to Havoc for making something that anybody can buy and enjoy. I think that's awesome. And I love that goggle for what it is. Last but not least, I got to give it to Liat, man. Um, you gotta go back to the drawing board with this one. I love your products. I'm a huge fan, um, huge supporter of the, of the brand itself. Um, you guys have saved my noggin a few times with your helmets, as most of you have seen. Uh, but there's just something about these goggles, man. They don't cut it. Um, the comfort's not there. The, the glare in the lens is not there. As, even though they feel bulletproof in hand and they, they're a high quality product, if they're not comfortable and you're not getting good vision, I mean, that's kind of takes away the entire purpose of the goggle. So um, I gotta knock Leah down to the bottom of the list on this one. Sorry, guys.
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, if you have any questions or opinions or input or anything, throw it in the comment section. Nothing I'm saying is fact. It's just my opinion on things, the way that I look at stuff. Um, and I'm just here to share it to help people make their own educated opinion and, and give them options to, to check out. So uh, if it was a help to you, let me know. If you've got other opinions and, and other suggestions on great goggles, let me know down in the comment section. And until next time, stay safe.